In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called using Raoult's law to calculate the vapor pressure of a component. There are two different versions of Raoult's law. One of them says the partial pressure of a uh, substance, a component of a solution, is equal to the mole fraction of that substance times the pure vapor pressure of that substance. The other version of Raoult's law says that the change in partial pressure or vapor pressure for a substance is equal to the mole fraction of the other component of the solution times the original vapor pressure. So we have to first of all figure out which one of these equations we want to use because we have enough information to use whichever one we want. Um, the problem is asking us to calculate the partial pressure of methanol. We want to calculate the actual partial pressure of methanol. We're not looking for a change to the pressure. We just want the actual pressure. So that means this is the equation right here that we want to use. I'm just going to put an X over this one so we don't get confused about it. To calculate the pressure of methanol, we need to know the mole fraction of methanol and the vapor pressure of pure methanol. The problem is giving us the vapor pressure of pure methanol 0.18 atmosphere. There's that guy right there. So all that we have to figure out is the mole fraction of methanol. This is going to be the moles of the methanol, CH3OH, divided by the total number of moles of both the methanol as well as the acetone. So what we need to do is a lot of gram to mole conversions here. We've got 77.7 .7 grams of methanol. Let's start by getting that converted into moles. 77.7 .7 grams of CH3OH. I looked up the molecular weight of methanol and it is 32.04 grams per mole. So that means that we have 2.43 moles of methanol. And we want to divide that by our total moles, which is going to be the moles of methanol and also the moles of acetone. We have 58.6 grams of acetone. And acetone's molar mass is 58.08 grams. 58.6 divided by 58.08 is 1.01 moles. And so our total number of moles is going to be these two added together. 3.44 moles total. Mole fraction is a unitless number. Sometimes students want to convert it into a percent. Don't do that. Just leave it as a decimal, 0 0.707, unitless number. So now we have everything that we need to calculate the partial pressure of the methanol, the mole fraction of methanol, which is 0 0.707, no units, and the original vapor pressure, which is 0.18 atmospheres. Our new pressure is 0.127 atmospheres. It says we want two significant figures, so that's gonna be 0.13. 